A clean surface is one of the most important steps to ensure that your wall art lives a long and happy life. Most of the time, it's as simple as dusting off the surface with a dry lint-free towel, but time can take its toll. If your surface is near a kitchen or bathroom or heavy trafficked area, there tends to be a little buildup that can be difficult to detect at first glance. The first step is to shine a bright light over the entire surface, most importantly up high or in corners. Next you will want to grab a white lint-free cloth and drag it firmly across the surface in a couple of places. Inspect the cloth for any discoloration or buildup. If you come out clean, you're ready to install. If any gunk is detected, we suggest using a 50-50 mix of rubbing alcohol and water, along with your lint-free towel to scrub off any unwanted buildup. If that doesn't work, other more heavy-duty cleaners can be used, but it's important that they don't leave behind any residue. We suggest going back and doing a final pass with the 50-50 mix, Remember to allow time for the surface to fully dry before applying your wall art. Here are a few additional products and techniques for cleaning specific surfaces. Many times varnished or lacquered wood is protected with a polish like Pledge. While products like this can be used to clean the surface, they also can leave a thin layer that does not react well with vinyl adhesives. We suggest you use some sort of grease cutting solution to ensure you're clean down to the sealant. If you're dealing with real stone, there can be small imperfections in the surface. While these give the stone character, they are also a great place for dirt and residue to hide. The same applies to stress cracks in concrete. Typically cut lines are made in concrete to control these cracks, but those cracks can create the same buildup. We suggest cleaning these with a brush, and if the gap is large enough, you might consider filling with a patch material made for stone or concrete. That will prevent visible lines and divots showing through your wall art material. These materials work well with vinyl adhesives, but the same can't be said for grout. You need to ensure that all grout lines and vinyl seams are scrubbed clean with an abrasive sponge or brush we suggest adding a fresh coat of grout sealant. This will give the adhesive a better surface to adhere to and also make a cleaner removal in the future. Stainless steel cleaner is great for removing any grime on surfaces, but we suggest going back over it with the 50-50 mix to remove any leftover residue. Wallpaper material has changed over the years. It comes in different grades and quality so it's important to test in a corner. If you are going to use a water-based solution, be sure it isn't saturating into the material. If this happens, you're going to want to reduce the amount of liquid used. Apply it to the towel directly, then wring it out to the point that it is only slightly damp. Then give the wall a chance to completely dry before applying your new wall art. Fans are always a big help. If you are dealing with a large area, it will shorten your dry time and avoid any possible mildew. If you have a surface we didn't mention or further questions, reach out to us through our contact page at 808wallart.com. To find more tips and tricks on installing care and removal of your wall art, continue through the 808 University Library. Be sure to subscribe for special deals and updates on new artists joining our community weekly.